Hi guys, it's Tony. Today we are going to recreate this rainbow button that I find from popper.b site in Framer. And we will also make it modifiable component so you can easily use it in various different projects. So you can always change the colors, copy, size or whatever you want based on your needs. Here you can see a few different examples that I quickly created. And here's also the original button from the popper.be site. You can also find a free remix link for this component from the video description. But now, let's get started. So first we want to create the base for our button. So let's create a copy, what our button says. And let's modify the font to be whatever we want to use in this case. Then let's create a frame behind our text that we just created. And let's make sure that our text is positioned to the middle of this frame. You're going to use the alignment tool from the top right corner to do that. Then let's resize our frame a bit so that our padding will be 24 pixels on the top and bottom and 40 on the left and right. This will make our button be quite a thick one. And after that, let's round those corners a bit to give it a bit more friendlier look. Now we see that our button is starting to look like a button, so we can now recolor it or modify it based on what we want to do. So in this case we can give it a yellow fill. And now we want to create a component out of this button. And it seems like Framer has for some reason deleted the create component button from the right click menu, but we can use a shortcut to create that easily. So let's press Option, Command and K to create a component. So now if we take a look again at the buttons that we want to create, we can see that there's this wavy rainbowish animation inside it. So let's start creating that. So let's start by creating a new frame and let's round the corners so it actually becomes an ellipse. Then we want to duplicate the ellipse and place it inside the first frame that we just created. Let's place it to the center of the first frame and let's drag it down a bit. So this gives this kind of like look of two different ellipses on top of each other. We can give this a new color also. And then let's duplicate the second ellipse we just created and let's place it a bit lower than the previous one. So now we should have basically a three different layers of ellipses on top of each other. And now you can also play around with the colors a bit, but this doesn't actually matter that much because we are going to turn this element into the component in the later phases, but give it some like three different values for the time being. And now let's place those ellipses inside our variant one. So basically inside our card and let's make sure that it's again aligned to the center of this frame and make sure that it's positioned to the top of this frame. This way it will stay at the center if we resize the frame or whatever we do. Then let's use notch tool to move the button below the frame. So now if we play around with the overflow values we can see that it's actually visible there if we put the overflow to be visible but we want it to be hidden in this case. Then let's add a hover state and again you can set the overflow to be visible for a while. So let's move our round ellipse frame to be a bit higher in the frame. So now actually we want this lowest ellipse inside the frame to cover our whole button section. And then let's set the overflow to be hidden again. And now if we go to the preview, we can actually see that we have this effect already in place now. What we want to do now is to make sure that the text stays visible as well. So let's select text and let's move it to the front. So this way it will stay visible always. And also let's select the first variant and let's go to the styles menu and modify the transition a bit to make it a bit smoother because now it was way too fast. We also need to add this text animation. So basically when you hover, the text comes from the bottom of the screen and it also goes away from the top. So let's duplicate our get in touch text and let's give them two different values, title one and title two. This makes it easier for us to change the values and so on for the animation. So now in the variant one, let's move the title two below the button and also let's set its opacity to be zero. And then let's go to the variant two and let's move it back to the center of the stage. And also let's make, the, make its opacity to be one again. Also in the hover state, let's move the title one to be above the button. Now when we go to the preview, we can see that the button is actually working kind of okay now, but the animation is a bit too slow. 
but let's fix that in a few seconds. So to modify the animation, let's select the first variant again and let's go to the transition and let's select the easing transition and let's set the B ease out and let's drag from the top of the Bezier curve so we can actually modify the effect that we have in place here. Now when we preview, we can see that it's now way too fast. So let's go back to the settings and set the time for the animation to be one second. So this is the time that the whole animation will take to be completed. And now it starts to look pretty much what we want it to look like. So now if we go back to our main page and hit preview here, we can see that it actually works kind of nicely. And as you can see, you can even modify the title pretty nicely. But what you can't do here is that you can't change the colors. So what we want to do now is we want to go back to the component and create the color variants for all of our different states. So let's go back to the component and you can select the variant one and go to the fill and press from the plus icon next to it and select the color and create variable. Let's give this a name of color one and this will be basically the default value or fill value of our button. And now let's duplicate these steps for our second and third ellipses inside the frame. So go to fill, create variable and set the name and set the default colors for them. And for the last ellipse, we actually want to give it the same value that we have for the base button. So basically what you want to do is to again press from the plus button, but this time select set variable and select the background. This is actually what we set to be color one, but for some reason it has changed it to back, back to be background, but it doesn't actually matter. So what we just did was basically we created a modifiable component out of it. So now we can go back to our main page and here we can just modify the colors, we can modify the label, we can do whatever we want to here to match the needs of our project. However, we kind of forgot to do a pretty important part of the button, we forgot to add a link for it. So let's go back to our component and let's just go back to the top right menu and press from add link. And again, let's create a variable so we can modify it for whatever use case we have. So now we can see that in our component settings we have actually placed for the link now and you can set it to be whatever you want. And as a one last step, we can actually give this button a hover state effect as well. So now what we want to do is to select the component inside the page you're working in, go to the effects menu and select the styles and play around with these parameters to achieve the desired effect. In this case, we can scale it down a bit when you're hovering. So it looks kind of coolish, but that's quite simple to do in the end. But that was basically it. Here I have a different file with the same button and I've already modified the colors a bit so you can see what kind of effects we can actually achieve in here but it's actually kind of nice looking button and super easy to modify and use. So if you want to grab the button for yourself, find the remix link from the video description and also go to preview the site by yourself. And hopefully you like the video and feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel for other content like this. And if you have some ideas, comments or thoughts, just let me know in the comments and we will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot guys, bye.